We always try to, to make sure in our hotel bookings not to have us in consecutive rooms. One, one or two of us might want to take a nap when we arrive in the city, if it's a concert day especially, and somebody else might feel he needs to practice. And you don't want to be reminded of the other person when you have these few hours of just uh, downtime. The first time we appeared at this wonderful festival in Western Austria called the Schubertiade, uh, we had made this request that our rooms not be right next to each other. So they, they assured us that at the hotel that that's the way it was. So uh, Phil was the first one who heard a violinist next door practicing, and he was really annoyed. He, he listened a little more closely, and he was wondering, well, why is Gene practicing Death and the Maiden, we're not playing Death and the Maiden on this tour. And then he realized that the Alban Bear Quartet was there at the same time. So they had interspersed the Alban Bear Quartet members with the Emerson Quartet. My name is Eugene Drucker. I'm one of the violinists of the Emerson String Quartet, and uh, we're in my home on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. When we decided to really make a go of it as a professional quartet, it was the 1976-77 season, and 1976 being the bicentennial year of the United States, we chose a name, uh, an American name with cultural associations. So uh, we were thinking of Ralph Waldo Emerson. We've played with guest violists, guest clarinetists. We've played the piano quintet repertoire, especially with a lot of great pianists, uh, Emmanuel Axe, Yafim Bronfman, who, by the way, both live in the building next to this building. <laughs> He was just a, a stellar soloist, uh, and audiences, and critics uh, were awestruck by his work. But I didn't know very much about his chamber music activity, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, if he hasn't done that much chamber music until more recently. We played five concerts with Mr. Kissin in uh, Europe in January, and the, they were generally in venues larger than our normal concert venues for chamber music and he had no trouble selling out these very, very large venues.